we are here with TJ Hunt. TJ, always, always a pleasure hanging out. Thank you, thank you. Standing behind us is your new Supra. Yep. You unveiled this yesterday. Yep. It's perfect, it's flawless. Thank you. People went bonkers over it. I know it's a tough question, but what's one of your favorite things about this car? You know, the favorite thing about this car so far is the fact that we got to reveal Street Hunter to the world for the first time. I'm humbled and honored to be able to work with the team that was able to get this done in time. Yeah. Uh, by the time this thing got printed from the 3D printer, we had the kit painted on mounted in 10 days. So the fact that we were able to have this be our first release, our first showing to the world, uh, our favorite thing is that it's epic. It's yeah. everything I want it to be, and I think uh, it represents what we have coming forth in the future. That's awesome. And I know you've been coming to SEMA for a few years. So being here, having cars here, what does SEMA mean to you? SEMA to me, it's kind of like the World Series. Yeah. It's where every brand in the industry is here to flex. Yeah. They're, they're here to show their best thing of the year that SEMA represents, mm -hmm. or they're here to say, hey, here's a teaser of what we're going to be next year. And everyone's right next to each other, so every company is either here to put up or shut up. And there's no there's no full people here. So it's uh, it's very uh, visceral, it's very in your face, and I just love it. It's like the World Series here. That's awesome. So it's, TJ actually has three cars here, one being the BRZ, which we've been working with you all year, and yep. you've seen that, that's out at our truck, but you also brought your Ferrari, that's which right. is another unveiling. Yes. So let's go take a look at that real quick. All right, let's go. So three cars of SEMA. Yep. BRZ, which we've seen. Yep. And two unveilings, the Supra and the Ferrari. Yes. Now that you were hiding a lot about this when you were building it, the kit, the color, especially the color. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, so the color was uh, the one of the hardest choices about this car. Um, I really wanted to find a color that was unique. You know, every Ferrari these days is white, red, or black. Right. So I wanted to get a color that you just don't really see, and I feel like this shade of green is slept on a lot. Right. So the inspiration was British Racing Green, but uh, we actually, this is our own color. We uh, um, used a couple different aspects to create this exact color, and uh, it's rad. It's like just dark enough in the shade, but when you hit it in that sunlight, actually brightens up with more of like a turquoisey color. And uh, the response on the internet has been like through the roof. So I, I feel like we had a home run and I feel good about it. And yeah, I'm excited to have a unique color out there that thinks gonna get a lot of popularity in the next couple of years. Well, man, obviously as requires, it's beautiful. We love it. Thank you. Great job on it. Thank you. And uh, thanks for taking the time. Absolutely. Cool. So here we are at our truck. We've got one, two, three, four, five different cars in our truck. I'm here with Jack from Jack Automotive. Jack, yep. thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thanks This for is having. his beautiful Audi R8. Now, the first thing when I notice it is delivery. Yeah. Is there some, it feels like there's a story behind it. What's going on? Yeah, so, so you guys know me as the Forza guy, and what's cool is that I went into the game myself, and I basically designed it all in the livery editor and all that, and I basically found some wrap, and I cut it out, and I applied it all myself, and I basically turned that render that I had in Forza into reality, all spread out on the car. So this car's been seen on screens now. It's real. Famous. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's here. It's, and then and another thing that you notice in reality is just the beautiful red paint. It's oh, so yeah. hard to capture that on camera, and that's something that's unique about most R8s are silver and white and stuff, and I really wanted that true exotic kind of really bright red flashy car that just makes me like, it just makes me so happy to see it every time. Well, being in person, you did an incredible job. Thank you. So thank you nailed you so it. Much. Um, and I, this is your second year of SEMA, right? Yes, indeed. Okay, and the first year with the car here? Yep, yep. Which that's we true. want to thank you so much for being a part of the, yeah, the McGuire yeah, yeah. family. It's an honor to be show. here with this. But so what does SEMA mean to you? Especially you're a young gun, right? You're yeah. a new kid on the scene. What, is it, what does SEMA mean to you? I mean, SEMA compared to all the other shows is a place where you can basically take your personality and put it out on a car and share it with others. Most shows, they'll be like auto shows, they'll have stock cars or they won't have anything that has very much interesting value to it. But with SEMA, it's every, it's either a team or a person, they all have completely different modifications and it's all just kind of art pieces that are all spread out, all differently designed and you can basically tell what that, what kind of personality that person has based on the car and I think that's really cool to have a show that displays all of that. Perfectly said, man. Yeah, well, I, again, we, we as McGuire appreciate you having this beautiful R8 and yeah. thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. So I'm here with Victor from R&B Garage. Victor, what's going on, man? So good, to, so good to meet you. You're the builder of this product, though. Correct. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm the painter slash builder, obviously with my team. Yeah. Um, what are some like what's some aspects about this thing? Because it looks incredible. Uh, one of them is gonna be the leather woven seats that Morning House hooked us up with. Okay. That's definitely like one-off, one type deal. 
Um, you don't see that very often. It was especially custom made for us. So it's definitely one of the things that I like to highlight on this build, you know, you don't see that a lot. And it's very, uh, very cool looking for sure. Awesome. And another one for sure I'm gonna have to go with is the 5.0 Coyote motor under the hood. Yeah. That's so cool. I mean, when you drive this thing, this thing hauls, man. Power. It takes off. It's so I drove up here and you know what? It was a great experience <laughs> driving her. That's so awesome. yeah, it's definitely another one of the things that I wanted to highlight on this build. That's cool. And so for you as a builder, yeah. as a painter, you kind of do it all. I'm curious, what does SEMA mean to you? Maybe as a builder or just personally? So yeah, no, uh, SEMA, definitely I go back with SEMA. You know, uh, I started attending SEMA in 2004. Okay. And so this is definitely something that's just be it became a tradition for me now that I have to attend it every year. And uh, what better way than attend it with uh, cool builds that you were you took part of with your team? You know, uh, making sure we're out here representing our uh, what we do, what is our passion. You know, it's uh, everyone at the shop definitely is very passionate about what we do, and I hope it just reflects on on our work. It definitely does. And so, I really appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, no problem. So good man. to meet you, man. Likewise, you. you guys enjoy the show. This is Lance Uchida. Lance, thank you so much for having your car in the booth. This thing's insane. Right out the gate, the front end. It just looks mean. Can you tell me a little bit about it? It's a little bit different. So I added a splitter on the front end um, to create some downforce. I do plan on tracking this vehicle after SEMA, of course, so I don't ruin too much of the paint on the vehicle, so. Because <laughs> the paint is beautiful. Thank Obviously you. Obviously that deep black that you love, yep. wires. Yeah, absolutely. So Lance, you've been coming to SEMA for years. You've yeah. had cars here. Obviously you have a car with us. Uh -huh. What does SEMA mean to you? SEMA is something that I look forward to at the end of the year. The best part about it is I get to meet new vendors. I get to see new products for the year. And I get to see how people uh, reflect their passion through their vehicles. That's awesome. Yeah. Again, I appreciate you having of the course. car in the booth. It's being beautiful. Thank you. I'm with world famous <laughs> automotive designer, John Sabal. John, Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank Not you, only man. is he one of the greatest, he might be the nicest guy here at SEMA. So I'm just, I'm gonna put that out there, not to put that, you on the spot. Not true, but, but okay, thank you, I'll take it. So you don't have a personal car here, but you have how many cars in the show that you've, you've designed for? So this year we got to design, I think around 16 cars this year. Jeez. They're kind of like all over the place. But so you've had a pretty busy year. Busy year. <laughs> uh, you know, it's good because you got bills to pay, so. <laughs> thank you, McGuire's. <laughs> And how many years have you been coming to SEMA? Whether it's been because you've designed here or just personally? Right, so my earlier days of SEMA is around like 94, 95, 96. Okay. Uh, I don't really get to go consistently every year, but yeah. since 2012, I think it's been pretty consistent up to now. Okay. So it's 20 year, 23, 24 years since yeah. the very beginning. So it's but a good amount of time to see um, this, this show evolve. Evolve, and grow. yes. So, so what I want to ask you is, what does SEMA mean to you? SEMA to me, when I think of SEMA, what I what pops up in my head is a place where a lot of creative people, whether you're a builder, designer, artist, are able to express themselves and be able to showcase their creativity uh, through the cars, uh, whether it be from a wheel design to a full body kit that, you know, uh, a one-off or even just uh, simple livery graphics that they want to just reflect their brand. Yeah. And uh, I appreciate SEMA for putting something together that we can all be at and have such a wide range and variety of cars yeah. available just to see from each call. It's all different and awesome. yeah, I love SEMA. Cool. Well, John, I appreciate you taking the time. Ken, Justin. one of the best. The Thank nicest you. guy at SEMA, hands down. Thank you guys, appreciate it. I'm here with Peter Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Peter, you've kind of been a part of the Maguire's family because you've known Bruce uh, Maguire's Australia for quite some time. Yeah, I've known Bruce since I started in Australia for uh, close on 30 years now. So, wow. um, and Maguire's been a big part of uh, my car culture in Australia. And um, yeah, and I mean, other people have tried to emulate what Maguire's is, but you have to be use it to know what Maguire's is. Yeah. And to me, it's still the best product you can find. Now, standing behind us, we're standing in front of this car for a reason. This is the car you built, yep. 35 Chevy. What's one aspect of this car that's really stuck out to you? Well, the first thing is that it was built right end drive in 1935, and we believe it's one of 17 built. And being the three window suicide door coupe um, is very rare. They only made like 3,000 of them, and this is one of 16, so because it's right end drive. And everyone says, why right hand drive? It was built right hand drive and it's now supporting a C6 Corvette transaxle running gear in it. So it goes. Yeah, it goes quite good. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and you've been coming to SEMA for a couple of years. So I just kind of want to know, what does SEMA mean to you? Well, SEMA is probably the pinnacle of um, our, the aftermarket industry anywhere in the world. And, and, and to come to SEMA is, is an honor. To, and we've been in the Battle of the Builders, which was great. Um, and uh, even been recognized by the Chevrolet, the, the design team came over and had a look at the car, which was oh, wow. amazing. So I had the head engineer from design from Chevrolet come and look at the car and he was amazing. With it. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, Peter, I appreciate you taking the time. Thanks so much. Thanks very much. So we've been filming cars, showing cars, and now we're here with Crispy, who does that for a living and kills it. Thank you, Crispy, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much pleasure. for taking the time. Thank you for having me, of course, thank you. Not only do you film cars, but this is your car. This mm -hmm. is a beautiful machine. That is. So tell us a little bit about it. Uh, so it's a 2005 Subaru Legacy GT Wagon Limited uh, that I used to film out of the back of uh, that now is a full-blown race car, show car, inside and out. Favorite aspects? Favorite aspect of the car, there's not one in particular one, okay. but if I were to sum up my favorite part about the car is that so many cool companies came together to make it happen. From Area 1320 building the motor, to DID building the entire interior out of Alcantara, to Sirius Innovations doing the, the trunk set, of course, cir circuiting with the headlights. So many people came together to make this one thing happen for me, to have it here at SEMA, and that's my favorite thing overall. So many people helping myself to have have this, yeah. which is crazy, it's crazy. Have you ever had a car at SEMA? Before? Never had a car at SEMA. I've been to SEMA a few years, okay. uh, but I've never had my own car here, and to have my own car here is again, just mind blowing, and <laughs> it's it's just, it's a whole new experience. It's opened up my eyes to what SEMA is really, really here for. And you know? and that leads me to the next question we've been asking people, what does SEMA mean to you? Realistically, it's it's just, it's another realm to, to get not only myself and my brand out there, but at the same time to meet more companies. I've been able to now uh, meet like Toyo Tires. I've been able to meet all these people I've been working with in yeah. person, chat with them, meeting everyone from Garrett, shaking hands, kissing babies, all that good stuff. <laughs> just seeing them in person and then they get to come and see the car now because normally cars in New York, those sponsors are all over. At SEMA, they're all here together. Right. So they all get to see the car and appreciate what I get to appreciate every day now. So cool. we really we'll appreciate cool. you taking the time to talk with us. Step in front of the camera for a little bit. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you so much Thanks for your so time. Much. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. So as promised, we showed you the booth, we showed you the truck, all the cars that we have going on. We interviewed their owners, their designers, their builders. It's been an incredible SEMA 2019. We have one last question. What does SEMA mean to you?